My name is Bruce Stubbs. In 1998, I was an active duty captain serving in Coast Guard headquarters as the Director of Operational Capability. We were responsible for fielding this capability for the very first time. So it was an extraordinary development and to be part of it, um, I am just uh, extremely proud. The Coast Guard views itself, and rightly so, basically as a humanitarian organization. And the helicopters in particular were mostly used for humanitarian purposes, search and rescue, principally. Though we do use helicopters prior to hit run for surveillance, for reconnaissance, if you will, from the major cutters. Not everyone agreed to, uh, to seeing this transformation. And the vice commandant at that time, I believe, was an aviator. And the, it was not welcomed entirely in the aviation community that uh, we should be using the helicopters to do drug enforcement. But what it did was besides giving us the ability to go after these drug runners, drug smugglers, it gave us, it gave the nation a capability that wasn't all military, DOD, and, and yet it wasn't uh, purely civilian. It was this unique feature of the Coast Guard of being a military service, a law enforcement agency, a member of the intelligence community, providing a totally brand new national security tool for the President, for the Secretary of Homeland Security, for the Secretary of Defense to use. And, and it had, as I say, transformational effect. Today, you see Coast Guard helicopters providing overflight of Washington, D.C. And why do they do that? Because of hit run success, because of the Coast Guard's ability to do civil law enforcement and ability to be a military service and dependent upon the situation, which role the Coast Guard should be in. It's a tremendous, flexible, agile tool for our nation. In the 50s, the U.S. Navy uh, equipped itself with nuclear weapons and um, missiles in order to provide nuclear deterrence, strategic nuclear deterrence transformational. What we fielded with HITRON is the same, same degree, the same level of transformational impact on the Coast Guard as a service, but more importantly on the nation by providing a new national security tool. A, a tool that can be employed not just against drug smugglers, but can be employed against terrorism or any other military or quasi-military organization or criminal organization that has malign intent against our nation. It just makes the Coast Guard so much more relevant and just gives the President so much flexibility and tools to address the nation's security. The success of Hit Run has been totally dependent upon the high quality of Coast Guardsmen who have made, made this happen. The, their discipline, their training, their ability to uh, hit the target with single shots, uh, their ability to uh, be extremely responsive uh, and, and take this great responsibility. It's a great responsibility to have law enforcement power and exercise that against citizens of other nations. And the Coast Guard does this with just great sobriety, great precision, great professionalism, and with great integrity.